Let's see. If okay, this thank you. okay, this is better. Okay, let's see if this works. You ready? Yes. It, what is okay? Let's see if it's gonna be inside. Candy, where are you calling us from, honey? I um, I'm from Miami. My is that where you live? I live in Miami. Yes. How old are you? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. What do you do for a living? Um, um, I'm a serial entrepreneur, but I'm a motivational speaker, and I also own um, a beauty bar down in Miami. A beauty bar. So you're a serial entrepreneur. Do you have any kids? I do. I have four kids. How old are your kids? My oldest is 18. I have a 14-year-old, a 10-year-old, and my son will be nine tomorrow. Ready? Yes. You look good. That's why I want to try to work with it. So Thank Candy you. Miami, 35, serial entrepreneur, four kids. You said 18, 14, 10, and 9? Yes. How many men? Um, one. One man. Have you ever been married? Yes, I was married for 17 years. Oh, when did you get divorced? You were for 17 years? How long were you when you got married? Well, I'll be 36, so it'll be 17. I was with him for 17 years. I apologize. I was with him for 17 years. We were legally married for 10. Um, okay, got you, got you, got you. Um, so you, you, how long have you been divorced? Uh, for a year, year now, a year, year and a half. Year and a half. Yes. All right. And what's your, what's your zodiac sign, Candy? I'm sorry. Say again. What's your zodiac sign? Uh, um, I don't believe in zodiacs because I am a woman of God, but my birthday is October 21st, 1987. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Candy Miami, 35, um, serial entrepreneur, four kids, um, doesn't believe in zodiacs. We will, we will respect that. What kind of man are you looking for? Um, I'm definitely looking for one that is self-motivated and ambitious. Uh, I definitely want one that actually like knows what they're working towards every day. I get up every morning, 5 a.m. workout. Um, I have these multiple businesses. And one thing I cannot stand is for a man to be in bed all day doing nothing. Um, I, it just, it does something for me. I just want a man that's goal oriented. I mean, that's goal oriented. Okay. Yes. What's some deal breakers? Gambling. Gambling is a deal breaker for me. Um, gambling is a deal breaker and I, I love a romantic guy um, so I'm not really big on, on men that are just like don't step out of their comfort zone step out of their box and okay. one that's um, abusive the verbal abusive thing is a no-go for me verbal abusive okay we got that let's see if to look a certain way um I like a man that's sort of well maintained, well groomed. I don't really have like a, oh a height thing. So as long as he's taller than me, I'm five four, five four. So as long as he's taller than me, because I like to feel protected, and I think the height thing has something to do with that. Um, but a, a clean shaved guy, if he has dreads, you know, he keeps it neat, keeps a haircut, that type of thing. But I don't really have like a a type, a physical appearance. Okay. Okay. Let's do the Kendra Cam because we're gonna go. Okay. Oh, baby, hold this for me. I like. Oh, you got a body body. That butt turned around, girl. Ooh, she got a body body. <laughs> I definitely All right, so Kenzie, work out. When was was your marriage your last relationship? What'd you say? I definitely work out faithfully every morning, five thirty a.m. Five thirty a.m. Okay, Kenzie, are we gonna go? But why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I'm motivational. I am uh, a risk taker. I'm spontaneous. I'm very laid back, so I can be the best friend. I can be the home girl, but I also know how to play my role respectfully. Um, granted, I'm, I'm a leader, I'm amb ambitious, I'm an alpha female, but I'm also, I know how to be submissive. I, uh, I'm respectful. Um, and um, I can be the friend when he needs me, but I also can be the housewife who cooks, who cleans, who take care of the kids, all that good stuff. I definitely know how to be balanced. I know how to balance. I know how to sacrifice. I know how to communicate. Um, and most importantly for me, I'm realistic. I don't expect everything okay. to be perfect. I know we're argue all that good stuff 
Um, but I definitely want someone that can um, also be realistic. Okay. Okay. And um, does he have to be in Miami? He does not. What's your age range? Um, um, between 32 and 50. Okay. Does he have to make a certain amount of money? Yes. So I am a, a, I make, I'm pretty, pretty well off. So I want someone that is able to either meet me halfway or be able to enjoy the finer things in life with me. Is there a minimum number? Uh, at least a quarter million. So he has to make, make at least 250,000. Yes. Okay. Is that what your ex-husband made? Um, no, he was, my ex-husband did make six figures, but he wasn't at a quarter million. Okay. But moving forward, the man has to make at least 250K. Yes. Can he have kids? Yes, absolutely. Do you want more, more kids? One more time. Do you want, want more kids? Um, no, no, I don't want any more kids. I will welcome his, but, uh, no more kids for me. No. So he has to make 250K and you're not going to have a baby bro? Yeah, no. No. <laughs> yeah, no. If, do you expect him to provide for your children? I'm, do I expect a... Do you expect him to provide for your children too? Um, he come, I mean, they come with me. So providing for me is providing for them, realistically. But my kids okay. are good. Girl, they, they say, they good, say they, you make a half a million dollars. Kitty, now, I'm going to tell you what they said. They say you make a half a million, million dollars. You said, do I make a half a million dollars? Well, no, you, you, make, you make a quarter million, right? No, 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 no. I need him to make at least a quarter million. I make I make more than a quarter million. Oh, you make more, more than a quarter million. Okay. Yeah. So he has to make at least. So they want to know why your Wi-Fi not wi fi in. Um, Actually... I am at cheer competition with my daughter in Orlando. So we're in a hotel uh, for okay. cheer competition. Is that a so cheer top competition? Gun, top That's... gun cheerleader. We're in um, Orlando for her national championships. Okay. So you, okay. So real quick, I know you got to go. We got to go because Wi-Fi is not on our side, but I want to pick your brain about something. So normally I hear a hundred K. So a hundred K wouldn't be good enough for you. Uh, uh, no. 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 No, absolutely not. Ooh, ooh. She said, absolutely not. Yeah, absolutely not. 200, 200, now could he be any race? We gotta be black. Um, yeah, I'm not against the race thing. I, I have dated outside of my race. I've dated mostly um, black men and Caribbean men, um, but I'm not against race. I'm, I'm just all for love. Okay. She's off for love. Let's do it. Kenzie, you want to get married again? Kenzie, do you want to get married again? I, I do. Okay. okay. What's your Facebook page? Um, Candy Green, K-A-N-D-I-G-R-E-E-N. And on face, I'm sorry, on Instagram, it's I am Candy Green. I am K-A-N-D-I-G-R-E-E-N. Wait, I, I got to add myself to this. They said kids are now... Someone said, we know you do well. Your Wi-Fi be fucking up, too. This is true. Touche. Touche. My Wi-Fi be wi fi and then, you know, my, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't talk about my money, but it's, okay. we'll, we'll leave it at no. that. But I see people my Wi-Fi do mess up at times, so that, that's a fear. Kendra Cousins, y'all got me. You guys are right. My Wi-Fi be fucking I see, up, y'all. I see a few people making comments about a hotel. Yes, I am. A, I am in a hotel. That's because I am in Orlando for my daughter's cheer competition, which is Top Gun. And I can be verified. You can Google me, Candy Green. You can also look up my business, naturalbeautybar.com. You can also go to my website, candygreen.com. So I can be verified. So I'm not worried about that. Oh, there's something about verifying your income? No, someone made the comment about me being in a hotel. Oh, oh. well, we said that you don't sell because you're with your daughter. Yeah. But so I, I I know a lot of people pump fake, but uh, unfortunately, uh, I'm not, I mean, I'm I not one of those. I believe Thank you, Miss Kendra. Um, all right, we about to go, Candy. Candy said not a hundred k. So listen, if you make two hundred thousand, can you do that? 
I can do 200,000. We can build, okay. we can build above 200,000, but I know you get it. I mean, I get it. I mean, but only <laughs> thing I say, this is, this is what I always say. I live in the world with these men. And I just think that sometimes m women want the money, but they don't want everything else that comes with the money. This is why I like Young Miami. Let me tell you why I like Young Miami. Young Miami is giving you the up close personal. I mean, she's dealing with a billionaire, but she is like saying, this is what I'm dealing with. This is what I received, but this is what I'm dealing with. She deals with other women. She deals with another baby. But Young Miami don't care because she got her own television show. She's on private jets. She's on yachts. But all that stuff comes with it. So sometimes I sit here, and it is what it is. If you have your request, it's your life, girl. Do it. Um, but people will let's say, I want this salary. And then they'll say these characteristics that these men normally never come with. So I just wonder sometimes what's more important, the salary or the characteristics? Um, it's def I understand it's definitely the characteristics for me, but it, when someone makes a certain amount of money, I feel like just because you make a hundred thousand, you still have to maintain. And so you're not going to be able to experience. I don't know how some of these people with section A still go be in Dubai for a week, but when you don't, when you have, uh, when you make a certain income, you get it. Like you, you understand, um, children build expenses and it's it, and it's not a check to check type thing so for me i think right, people look I, at I how much it, they, and they live they have how my grandmother used to say that you got champagne taste but beer pockets is this for the women or for the men for the men <laughs> you got for champagne taste but beer pockets men. But bear back for bear pockets. Well, you're a beautiful woman, so let's see how it works. What if a guy? Um, so you're done with having kids, 18, 14, 10, and I. But you was you was once married, so they're like, I think someone told me that that is different. That when a woman has a certain amount of kids from marriage, I guess. Child, I don't know how these men be weighing these scales, child. But either way, Candy, um, thank you for calling in. Good luck to your daughter in the competition. Thank you, Leah. Uh, bye, baby. Said. Bye, Go, <laughs> go, go, Top Gun. Go, Top Gun. We are the best. Top Gun is the best. <laughs> My name is Kendra G, and we don't take no mess. Hey, hey, hey. I was a cheerleader growing up. I know how to cheer. <laughs> go, fight, win. Go, 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 nice, go. I was a black girl with all the white girls on my team. All right, bye, yeah, Candy. That's her. That's her. Bye, baby. <laughs>